So some of the topics that we said were very particularly important to us in the next 10 to 15 years are um, surveillance of diseases, infectious disease outbreaks, nutrition, um, strengthening supply chains and health systems um, so that we can get medicines and um, medical supplies out to the most rural areas. So what we did was we kind of encompassed all of those under the general um, topic of health system strengthening. Um, and what we said, one of the primary first steps we could take is increasing health education, particularly um, at the community level. So working with um, community leaders, local chiefs, community health workers to be kind of a bridge um, from the health, from the kind of government level to the community level and pass along any messages that are needed, whether it's for a disease outbreak or whether it's for um, just you know general improvement in health practices, um, hand washing, that sort of thing. Um, and we had a couple of other steps. So um, another one I'm gonna pass to my colleague Stephanie to talk about a more customized approach. Hi, I'm Stephanie with Gabby, the Vaccine Alliance. And one way to incentivize people to go out and educate is you can use well-designed performance-based financing mechanisms. Another approach to health system strengthening is cloud-based and uh, electronic registries um, to link systems to one another. So one of the other approaches that we mentioned um, that we discussed in our group was using technology and um, new systems. So we had a little bit of a debate about whether some of these very rural communities would be ready for these systems, but we do think that even in the communities that aren't ready, it's important to start to develop them um, in, tandem, in tandem with these other approaches. Um, and we also talked a little bit about the importance of um, educating local health professionals um, throughout this process. Thank you.